Hello and welcome to this new Unity 2D tutorial series. We're going to be learning how to make a brick breaker game using Unity Bolt with no coding experience needed at all. Before we get started, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a ton. Also, leave a comment if you're having any issues or would like to see something added to this game. Okay, so let's get started. We have an empty project here in Unity. I have imported some assets and also I already installed Bolt. If you don't know how to install Bolt in your project, you can check out my other video where I go through all of this. So the first thing we're going to do is set the aspect to 916. So it's like a portrait uh, mobile aspect. And we're going to set up the, the whole scene. So let's drag and drop the background. Let's just put this in 0, 0. We're going to we're going to change the color a little bit so it's not too bright. So we're going to turn down the alpha bit. There we go. Now let's put the paddle. Now this is way too big, so we're going to change the size of the camera. We're going to change the size to 25. We're going to make the background a little bit bigger, so let's do it 5 by 5. Perfect. Let's bring the paddle down. Okay, we're going to also drop, drag and drop the ball. We're going to put it here for now, then we'll adjust the position. And we're going to create some colliders for the bounce, so we can have the ball bounce off the walls. Let's just create a, sorry, a game object, let's call this bounce. And we'll create bounce left this let's do this something like that put a box collider 2d so let's make this pretty big okay 75 okay you can position this just by eyeballing it so there we go you can do the same with the right Move it to the right, and let's do this for the top. So let's do this 55 by 1. Enter it and bring it to the top. Okay, so we have our basic scene set up. We have the paddle, the ball, and the bounce for the ball to bounce off. We're going to just put the bottom one as well. We'll need to add some custom behavior to this collider, so when the ball touches this bottom one, you lose a life or the game's over, but we'll, go, we'll get to that after. So let's focus now on moving the paddle left and right. So this is pretty easy. We're going to go here. We're going to first add the box collider 2D to the paddle as well, so we have a collider where the ball can bounce off. And let's go to Bolt. Flow machines, create a new one. We're gonna create a new folder called Flow Machines. We're gonna clear create paddle movement. Okay, so if you haven't checked out my previous uh, Vault video, this is going to be something really similar. We're gonna create a graph. So let's go to Edit Graph. Let me just drag this here, and I'm gonna make it full screen. Okay, so what we're going to do here is get rid of the start event. So in every frame, we're going to do two things. So we're going to create a sequence. The sequence will just first call this uh, flow line and then this one. So what we're going to do here is just do a get key. If we're pressing the left arrow, we're going to check if we're actually pressing this, so we're going to do a branch and hook up the result. So if we are pressing the left key, we want to do a translate. Translate. So we want to move this object. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a variable 
we have variables here to this object so we're going to put battle speed this is going to be a float okay so here we're going to just get variable object battle speed so since we're moving left it has to be a negative value so we're going to actually multiply this by negative one and this is the value that we're going to move on in x so we're going to do something pretty similar we we'll just copy and paste this after but with the right arrow and we don't need the multiply so we're just going to get rid of this one and we're just going to move in x the paddle speed so to recap this is going to be for the movement of our paddle we're going to first check if we're pressing the left arrow if we are we're going to move paddle speed negative on x so we're going to move to the left and if we're not we're going to check the right arrow and if we're doing that we're going to move paddle speed to the right so let's make sure that this is working first we need to set the actual paddle speed so let's go here and let's put 0.4 for now press play we should be able to move our paddle with the keys left and right okay that looks pretty good now that we have our paddle movement we're gonna focus on the ball the first thing we want to do is before we send the ball start bouncing off the walls we want it to move with the paddle but one easy thing easy way to do this is just make it a child of the paddle so now if every time we move the paddle we're going to see that the ball is going to move with it so this is going to be something that we need before we start the level and what we want to do is when we press the spacebar we want the ball to shoot up and start bouncing off the walls and eventually the bricks that we're going to have here so to do that let's create a flow machine on the ball so same thing here first we're going to actually create a circle collider 2d on the ball and a rigid body 2d so it has physics and we're going to set the gravity scale to zero because we want to actually add the forces to it we don't want gravity to affect our ball so that's great and now we go to the flow machine okay create a new one it's going to be called ball edit this graph okay perfect so here we're going to do something similar to what we did before so on, on update we're going to check if key down we're pressing any key let's put spacebar here so space we're pressing pressing spacebar we actually want need to do a branch here to check if we're actually pressing it so if we are we're going to actually add a force to it so add force so this is going to be rigid body 2d add force with mode so we need it to be impulse so it starts really fast and we need we're going to set it to 6 and 25 okay so let's test this out see what happens we can actually move if we press space yep that starts moving we have an issue that it's not bouncing correctly off the walls that's super easy to fix what we're going to do is go to the project create new physics material 2d so we're going to call this ball material and we just want the ball to have a lot the maximum amount of bounciness and no friction and we're just going to select the ball and drag and drop this to the rigid body so now it should bounce off the walls correctly give it another try so we can move we press space yeah perfect the issue that we have here is that every time i move the paddle the ball still move still moves with the paddle because we are actually the, the ball is still a child of the paddle so if i move we can still do this and we don't want that so we need to actually remove the ball as a child of the paddle one once we start uh well, once we press space so to do that we're gonna do before we do the add force we're gonna remove this connection and we're gonna do a set parent 
So we're going to transport transform set parent. I'm just going to set it to none and it, it will just set it to it will just do this and set it to the root of the hierarchy. And then we connect this here. Okay, so now we should have that problem fixed. Let's check it out. So we can move, we press space, and yep, we can keep moving the paddle and that is independent. Now we still have one issue that the ball, if we press space, we can still speed it up and we can do, yeah, crazy things. That's because we're never checking that, we're, we're never preventing the player to keep doing this and keep pressing spacebar. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a full screen here. We're going to add an object variable to the ball. It's going to be called not moving. This is going to be a, bool, a boolean. We're going to start it to true. So we only want to be able to do this if we're not, if we're not moving. So to do that, we're going to just move this a little bit. All of this here. And before we do this, we want to actually do another branch. We want to actually check if let's do a get variable here. Object not moving. So we, if we're pressing the spacebar, and this is true, we're gonna check if we're actually if the not moving flag is also true, and if it is. We're going to do all of this. Actually, before, before doing this, we're going to set this flag to false. So we're going to set variable object not moving. We're just going to create a, a bool literal. And it's going to be false. So this is false and this is true. And then we do this. So what this will do is we're, it's just going to allow us to do this only once. Because the next time you press spacebar, this is going to be false. So this is not going to, this connection is not going to be made. So let's check it out and we can actually see the flow here. Okay, so we're moving, we're moving, we press spacebar. Now if we keep pressing spacebar, you can see that it's getting to the branch, to the second branch, but it's not going forward because this variable is false. So that's exactly the behavior that, that we want for the ball. So I think that pretty much sums up the basic behavior. So we have the ball moving and bouncing off. And we have the paddle movement very smoothly. Another case we need to handle is when the ball hits the bottom collider. So that should be like a life lost and the ball should return to its original state. So we're going to do that now. So we're still on the flow machine of the ball. One thing you can do to clean everything a little bit up is to press command or control and drag. So you can create like boxes. So here we're going to put start all movement. So just to keep everything a little bit more clean. Okay, perfect. So what we need to do is to figure out when the ball hits our bottom uh, collider. So we're going to use tags for this. So we're going to go to the bottom, bounce bottom here in tag, create a new one. So create a new tag. We're going to call this bottom. Okay, and then go back to the bounce bottom and make sure that the tag is set to bottom. Okay, so now we go back to our flow chart and we're going to do a on collision enter. So on collision enter, make sure it's 2D because we're using 2D, a 2D game and 2D colliders. So every time we, the ball collides with something, this event is going to be triggered. What we need to do is make sure we're going to use a compare tag. So we're going to check if this is the, we're colliding with bottom. So the only thing that has the tag bottom is the actual bottom. So that's great. And we're going to check this tag on the collider. So on the object we collide with. And if this is true, we're going to do a branch. If this is true, if we hit the bottom collider, we need to restart our initial values. So the first thing we're going to do to set the velocity. So we're going to go to velocity. The rigid body to the velocity, we want to set to zero. So we want the ball to stop moving. This will stop every movement on the ball. We now want to also set it as a child of the paddle again. We're going to do a set parent. 
Now we need to pass the parent, so we need the paddle. We don't have it here. We're going to go to the object and we're going to create paddle. We're actually going to create this in the, as a scene variable because we're probably going to need it afterwards. So we're going to do paddle. This is going to be a game object. And we need to just open here the variables. Dock it here. Okay. Scene. So paddle is going to be game object. And it's going to be this game object. Okay. Okay, great. Let's go back here. So we're actually want to set we want the ball to be a child of. So we're gonna do a get variable here from the scene. It's gonna be the paddle. Okay, perfect. Now we want to position it here. So we're gonna do local position. So we want it to be at this, this zero and let's just say 1.5 okay we want to actually reset it to 0 1.5 0 and last the last thing we need to do is to actually reset the not moving uh variable we're just going to copy this paste it here we're going to set the not moving variable to true so it can be uh, launched again from the paddle and that should be it we're gonna create here so we're gonna check it's gonna be like if bottom actually let's call this uh, restart restart if hit bottom okay let's see if this, this works okay so we're moving we launch it's the bottom, boom, perfect. Now if I press space again, okay, that looks pretty good. This is going to be it for the first part of this tutorial series. As always, if you like it, please leave a comment. It will help me out a ton. Also like the video and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.